hey family um i hope you've been good so if um this is your first time checking out our channel please do subscribe and yeah without wasting any time today i'll be showing you how to construct the box and whisker plot and we'll be discussing outliers and if um the length of the video allows us we will be um, touching on the stem and leaf so yeah as you can see i've already um drawn the box um so you can as you can see from this that to obtain the box you have to plot your q1 your q3 and your q2 and mind you that your q2 is your median right remember that your q2 um is our median in this case so you need um to plot them and just draw the box right so you can see that i've labeled that from this part to this part the length is iqr remember that your iqr is q3 minus q1 um, i'll be showing you how to obtain your whiskers and how to determine if your sample has outliers and if there are any outliers um how to distinguish between um mild outliers and extreme outliers so without wasting any time i'll just um read out the theory for you and i'll show you how to apply it the right um whisker but he, um, they say that it extends to the largest value within 1.5 interquartile range from Q3. So guys, here it means, okay, the statement basically means that um, the largest data value that your right whisker can extend to is Q3 plus 1.5 iqr right so basically meaning that after you determine your iqr you will say q3 plus 1.5 iqr and that value that you get um if it's there within your data set you can go and plot it but if it is not there you go to the largest data value within that 1.5 interquartile range from q3 so for me to make an example let's say um i'm going to use um small numbers let's say your q3 was five ne? so if your q3 is five and let's say um this one is um should i say two i don't know two so and now um what happens is that your iqr is going to be five minus two which is three in this case ne? so in this case to find uh the length of your right whisker you are going to say five plus one point five three so and you will get that it's 9.5 so when you get that you go to your data so if there is a 9.5 in your sample obviously you're gonna plot your nine uh, you're gonna plot um your 9.5 and extend your whisker but if you don't have 9.5 let's say the largest um data value that falls um between five to nine point five is eight it means that your right whisker is gonna um end more eight and to determine its length when they ask you what is the length of um your right whisker you are going to say that value at your whisker where your whisker ends minus the um q3 so that is going to be your length so um i'm going to explain how to get the left whisker it's the same process but um, i'm just going to show you anyway and so that we can move on to see how we determine our outliers so now to determine um the length of the left whisker 
so it says um the left whisker extends to the smallest data value within 1.5 interquartile range from q1 so also um the smallest um number that your left whisker can extend to is um is basically q1 minus 1.5 iqr that is the smallest value that um your left whisker can extend to so what we do uh, as we did um with the right whisker you are going to say q1 so in this uh, example that i just made up i said my q1 is 2 and remember our iqr was 3 so you are just going to say 2 minus 1.53 right and and you will get like a minus 2.5 guys this is a very bad bad example but i just want you to understand to get um like what's going on so basically obviously most um values want your your sample won't have negative values most of the time so um if this is your 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 smallest value that um your your left um whisker can take um it means that you can choose um a larger value than this one so what i mean is that let's say maybe the smallest um number in your set is one so obviously um from so you you, you are going to choose um a number between 2 and minus 2.5 that is the so you know that your left whisker is going to extend up to 1 so now i'm going to show you how to determine um outliers so yeah guys i hope you got that explanation if you didn't you can just um go back and try to understand if you have any questions or need some clarity just um comment down below so now i'm going to show you um how to determine outliers so basically we have two types of outliers we have the mild and the extreme outlier so i'm just quickly going to explain whether those and show you how to determine them so before we start with outliers um just note that outliers are data values that are not consistent with the rest of the observations in the data set so um your mild outliers is just like any value below q1 minus 1.5 iqr and above q3 plus 1.5 iqr so guys just um copy this down if you don't have it um yet so after you copy it down just make sure um you can um it's you copy it where you can see it because when i'm going to show you how to obtain these um or and or represent them um on the what's that your box and whisker plot now uh you have to refer back to them and see if they make sense to you right now i'm going to show you uh, how to determine the mild outliers um remember that mild outliers are any value below q1 minus 1.5 qr and above q3 plus 1.5 iqr so um so basically meaning this part here and this part here if there are any values um they are going to be your mild outliers 
how you determine that is um, by you are going to so obviously now you've obtained your what have you obtained you've obtained um your whiskers the 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 the, the, the length of your whiskers so the data that remain outside are either so now from the data that remain outside you have to determine your mild and your extreme um what do they call them outliers so now you've obtained you know those value here you know that value here and if there are um other data values that are outside um or greater than this value here and less than this value here you know that obviously those are are your outliers so now guys you are going to say q3 plus 3 iqr and the largest number you get um from that answer you know that it is um the, the your last or it is your largest mild outlier right <laughs> so you know that from um the largest that largest value you, you got um is your mild outlier and all the other values that are lesser less than it um, yeah so you know that all the values that are between that number you got and the value that your right whisker extends to they are mild outliers and again um you are going to do the same this side you are going to say q1 minus 3 iqr so you know that um that's the smallest um value that your mild outliers can take and all the other values between that smallest value and um the value that um your left whisker extended to are fall under your mild outliers so now guys you know that any other value that um remains or all the values um greater than <clears throat> sorry q3 plus 3 iqr and um less than or smaller than q1 minus 3 iqr like now you know that those values are your extreme extreme outliers yeah so guys um this is basically what uh all that i have explained but here um they are just neat and yeah neat very neat um than the one i used to explain so yeah just make sure that you understand this so that you can be able to answer um some questions so if you have any questions or you need clarity on something please just comment um on the comment section down below and i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as i can so from what i've explained you only plot um values that are within your data set and it is possible for your sample to not have any outliers it's not the case that you always find a sample with outliers so if you're asking yourself um that how will you know that there are no outliers the answer um, is simply when you do the first step where you say q3 plus 1.5 iqr and you see that your answer has included the largest number in your sample and when you do the q1 minus 1.5 iqr and the answer you can see that it has included the smallest um value of uh in your 
data simple then you simply know that there are no outliers and your whiskers will extend to your maximum value and your minimum value so um, in that case you will draw a box and whisker similar to the one we used to draw in grade 12. So if you haven't um, subscribed please join our family by just subscribing it is free of charge and if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it with your friends and classmates who are doing the same module from me guys i love you bye